This is the installation video for the flood log system presented by Architecture Metals and Flood Panel LLC. Your flood log panels are currently in your storage facility. In your storage facility you'll have flood log inventory, hardware, 3 8 inch bolts and washers, 3 quarter inch bolts, half inch compression bolts and top compression plate and bolt, support post inventory, wall supports and mid span supports. Your storage facility also includes a deployment binder which has a location plan of all the openings and an inventory sheet and color chart showing the locations and the color codes for each opening. All opening supports are marked and can be identified on the inventory sheet along with the color codes marked on each one of the tubes. You'll notice a variety of colors. Those can be identified for each opening on the chart. Your deployment plan will identify where to begin deployment. To improve speed of deployment, use mechanical lifts to move the product from storage to the openings. Two-man teams should be used during deployment. Once the materials are delivered to the opening, use a broom or a shop vac or an air compressor to clean the area at the sill of any debris that may damage the gaskets. Remove all sidewalk bolts or caps from the walls, jams, and sill. Place the bolts in the container to be returned to storage for use later. Unload the supports and begin installation. Line up the holes behind the gaskets to the holes in the wall and the hole in the sill and begin hand tightening the 3 8 inch bolts and washers into the holes starting at the sill and at the top hole. Make sure your holes are aligned. Continue installing all of the 3 8 bolts and washers hand tight. Once the bolts are in, use a wrench, a ratchet wrench, or a drill with a 3 8 inch adapter and tighten the bolts. Do not over tighten. They simply need to compress the gasket. Multi-panel openings use mid-span supports. Align the bolt holes and use a level to make the mid-span support plump. If necessary, use shims under the front flange. Install the 3 quarter inch bolts into the anchors. Once your supports are installed, it's time to install the flood logs. The flood logs are color coded and can be identified by the color dots on the outside of the logs. For this opening, the color code is orange. The bottom log can be identified with a blue dot along with the orange dot. The bottom log also has two gaskets. It's the only log that will have two gaskets. The middle logs for this opening will have one dot. It will be orange. The top log will have two dots, an orange dot and a yellow dot, and the top log will have no gaskets. After the top log is installed, it's time to install the compression hardware. On the vertical surfaces of the front of the supports, you'll screw in half inch bolts that will compress the flood log system horizontally. At the top of each channel will be a channel plate and a 3 8 inch bolt that will compress the system vertically. The same thing holds true for the mid span supports. Once everything is installed, Install the half inch bolts to the horizontal holes and the 3 8 inch bolt with the compression plate at the top of each mid span support. After the flood event, it's time to break down the system. Begin by removing all compression bolts and placing them in a container for storage. Continue by removing your panels to a mechanical lift. As the panels are being removed, inspect them for damage. Make note of any damage and indicate it in your report 
after breakdown. For safety, lift larger panels with two men. Remove all hardware from flood log supports and midspan supports. Place your hardware in a container for storage. Remove the supports and place them on a mechanical lift to go back to storage. Once all supports and panels have been removed, begin to replace your sidewalk bolt. Make sure the threads in your opening are clean before replacing the sidewalk bolts. Use a mechanical lift to bring all flood logs and supports and hardware back to storage. Complete your post inventory inspection and the storage facility and complete your report.